Hey guys, back at HQ here, just giving you a quick video of how to service the Polar Star regulators. Why you want to do this is just to eliminate any debris and uh, check over your seals on the regulator itself. So first off, you want to remove the retainer cap by just using some needle nose pliers. Preferably ones that don't have teeth on here so you don't scratch up the brass. So firmly grab it and just twist it. There might be some air that pops out, don't be afraid. Just keep going. It will depressurize itself. And try to unscrew it as true as possible. Just so you don't miss thread it or anything. So there's your retainer cap. Should look like that. Next up will be your blast cap and that you just remove by pulling out and the orientation should be the neoprene um, neoprene o-ring should be facing upward so retainer cap o-ring on top and there would be a little divot on the back of the retainer cap itself that the o-ring sits right into like that while you're here grab some paper towel all right get some paper towel and just give everything a wipe down you can remove the o-ring and inspect if there's any cracks or yeah anything on there there shouldn't be to create a good seal so just wipe everything down and place it to the side. I usually put it in the order of how it goes into. And these parts usually only go in one way. So, yeah. Next up, you can try to get pliers or tweezers and try to get the little o-ring that's in the middle there. But I tend to do that one when I remove this cap here just because there's a bit less clearance um, than opening up the regulator itself so how you open up the regulator once you've got everything out is just these two imperial grub screws on either side and uh, it is a 050 imperial um, So yeah, just unscrew that very lightly, put it to the side for now, and that's what holds your two parts of your regulator together, and just unscrew it upright, so that no o-rings or springs come out. So there, as you can see there, there's a bit of debris and stuff from just everyday use. So just give it a wipe with your paper towel again. I would recommend using a paper towel because it leaves um, as little debris and it doesn't have any fibers that can be left in your regulator. And uh, you don't want anything in your regulator because uh, you don't want anything in your Polestar engine itself. So next that will come out is the piston spring itself. Give that a wipe down also. Because these are the parts that do hold your silicon grease. And your piston should come out like that. That's the piston there. While it is out, just inspect the O-rings to see if there's any cracks or splits or misshape in it. It should be pretty much true and perfect as it is holding high pressure air. And then expect the head as well. It should be very flush and flat. Get your paper towel and just clean the inside of the regulator there as well. There, nice and clean. Next part is to get the O-ring out of the center cylinder. This is a bit tricky, but 
with the same Allen key that you use to unscrew the regulator. Just you, this is what I do, but there's many ways to do it. Just grab the o-ring softly and tap it or just guard it out. There it is. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's just a little tiny o-ring. This o-ring keeps everything sealed onto your actual piston rod. So it is very crucial. So again, clean it off, make sure there's no splits or cracks or debris on it. And yeah, and place it off to the side and clean your center cylinder. Awesome. Now that everything is taken apart and clean, uh, now it's time to put everything together and re-grease. So, things to note when you're re-greasing, don't use a fine brush, like so, with soft bristles if you can. Some 40 weight to 50 weight silicon grease, and you only want it to be silicon. None of this multi-purpose stuff. So first off, just in reverse process, just grab a little, little tiny bit. You don't need much. Just coat that little O-ring. When that small O-ring is re-greased, just use the back of your, your missus makeup brush and just slowly put it into its place. Making sure that it sits flush. Once that is done, put that one to the side. Get your piston. Make sure everything is wiped off it. And again, using the smallest amount of grease you can. You just want a very light layer around the O-ring. Also, another part to coat is just the top of the piston head. Again, very light layer. Place it into the top of the regulator. Just coat your rod as well, as it is making contact with that little O-ring on the side. And then next, your, the piston spring should just slide over with that flat, flat end of it facing up. Once that is all ready, just grease the top of this, just slightly as well. And screw it back on. In this process, making sure that that O-ring is still sitting true and that you're not cross-threading it, as you can see, is very easy to thread it in and out. They made it like that because what's fastening it down is the grub screws itself. So yeah, you don't need it to be so tight. But the thread should stop. And just reinserting your grub screws. Same with the grub screws, doesn't need to be super, super tight because the o-ring should be holding the pressure. If you've done everything correctly. It's hard to see there, but in that process, I've actually moved the O-ring, so it's sitting up a bit. So I grab my paintbrush, or the end of it, and just push it back down. And you want it to sit around the rod. You so that silver rod right in the middle, the O-ring sits around the rod. Next up, putting your blast, blast cap, with the O-ring sitting upward, straight in there. 
and it should sit flush as well. And finally, putting your reca retainer cap on. And again, with all of the threads in this, make sure that you don't cross thread it and it should be a very, very easy and light screw in. Once the retainer is like tightly on, just move, uh, tighten it on about a millimeter more, or bee's dick more, and that should be enough. And yes, that's how you service a Polestar regulator. Uh, just write in the comments about what you want to see next week, and uh, yeah, we'll try to attend to your needs. Thanks guys, have a great week or weekend or wherever you are. Stay cool, stay true and pew pew.